church family. Uh, happy Wednesday to you. It's uh, just uh, past the noon hour here, so we're not in the uh, morning time, but we are enjoying a pretty bright and uh, sunny day, and I hope you have an opportunity to get out and feel a bit of that sun on your face, as well as the uh, cool, chill air. Um, just wanted to touch base with you this week and uh, it was a great weekend that we had this Sunday and Saturday with uh, some of some of you came for our non drive through event and picked up some resources mm -hmm. for Advent and we hope that uh, that helped you to set up your own wreath and candles and participate during the lighting of the Advent candle that's going to be something that we'll continue to do every Sunday and invite you to join with us in that moment uh, with your family lighting the candle uh, as we do it in the service on Sunday and we've selected different people to sort of lead us through that lighting of the candle and uh, I think that will bring some variety. It's just really uh, great to see other people from our congregation. We realize that seeing you know familiar faces is good but it's also great to see families and people that maybe we haven't connected with in a while and we've been hearing that that's that's a meaningful um, part of uh, the service that uh, you've appreciated as well this week I'm I'm preaching and we'll be speaking on the mark uh, text that's in our, our readings it's uh, on focused on John the Baptist encouraging the people to uh, prepare and we are framing the uh, title for the sermon and the whole service preparing for peace. So I encourage you to think about um, the ways in which we might prepare ourselves. Obviously we're preparing an advent for the coming of Christ and what that means in our in our world and in our lives. And uh, particularly I want to focus on what it means to prepare that peace might come to us and especially for John the Baptist and Jesus and the people of their time, uh, what that looked like in terms of the unrest and political situation that they were dealing with at that time and longing for uh, peace for their land. I think there's a lot of uh, ways that we can identify you know, just in terms of the unrest, uh, not just politically and uh, some of the unrest of this year, but also in terms of the unrest that the COVID virus has brought to all of our lives and the disruption that some some of that is bringing and a longing that that would uh, uh, dissipate and, and go away. And just today I heard on the news that um, they're preparing in Britain to vaccinate healthcare workers as early as next week. And I think with all of these sort of hints of an answer or a solution, obviously we know that that rollout is going to take a very long time to completely blanket the world. But even these initial um, vaccinations and solutions, I think will buoy us all up at uh, anticipating that uh, one day this, this is eradicated. But of course we know there's always <laughs> the next thing and the next thing and I think that's where our, our scriptures um, might draw us back into a view of history where there's a, a constant uh, unrest and yet we have a God that we can continually go back to and rely on to um, bring us peace even in the midst of unrest. So I hope you're encouraged today and uh, we are encouraged through the weekend just uh, having a unanimous vote in uh, calling our new pastor and are also in this time of waiting uh, for a final response there but we know that you'll be in prayer and uh, anticipating uh, a good word from um, from him i just want to close in a, uh, reading to you our psalm um, it's psalm 85 and uh also uh, speaks to this um, sense of God's faithfulness to us and that he would um, uh, come through for us in some ways 
you can almost hear in this text uh, and in, in Psalm 85 uh, calling for God to bring some solutions or to uh, answer a need. And um, I'm just reading from verse 8 here. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. God bless you. Good to see you today, wherever you are, and we'll talk to you soon.